Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. I know you all are not used to hearing me say that, right? Because you always talk to me on Thursdays. But as you all know, we are doing a special edition of Coaching from the Couch live training camp edition. So we'll be talking a lot throughout this next month or so, all throughout the week, having fun, talking Washington football team, understanding and talking through the updates and everything that's been going on so far. Listen, you guys, it's only day three. It is only day three, Jermaine. But check this out. I can't help but to still be excited about it being football season. I mean, this is the time of the year, isn't it? I see Seaball team member Joy has also checked in. As you all know, she does everything with the chat. So everything that happens in the chat, she absolutely keeps the conversation flowing. You all want to make sure you are sharing this show with your Washington football team family and friends. You all absolutely want to share this show. This is an opportunity for us to get together and chat about what we're hearing out of training camp, any news, um, details, and we're going to be tracking each and every single day. Seriously, each and every single day. You all will be seeing some of my fellow media colleagues drop in and drop out and let us know what's going on at camp. Um, you know, yesterday, if you haven't had an opportunity yet, I hope you all check in and watch the show yesterday with Donna Hopkins of Tony McGee's Pro Football Plus and Lake Lewis of Sports Journey. They joined the show yesterday live from Richmond in that Richmond heat. Um, also, we'll have we'll have media folks joining all throughout this time. So make sure you all are tuned in, plugged in. If you want the update on what happened at practice, we're going to be discussing everything practice related right here. Coaching from the couch, Seawall Sports and Entertainment Facebook page, Washington Football Training Camp Live. So let's get right into it. I know you all are sharing this show, right? You're sharing this show with your Washington football team, fellow fan, family and friends. This is for Washington football team fans only. So first of all, let's see if you all have any questions. Let's try to document and get you all's questions in. Um, but first, let's go ahead and see what some of the updates have been so far. If you all recall yesterday, there were reports that Washington tight end Ricky Seals Jones had went down with a leg injury. So little more information today. It's a right leg contusion. Um, it is not considered serious. Um, I believe he was at the walkthrough yesterday evening, but he is listed as day to day. So that's an update there on Ricky Seals. Here's another thing that I thought was interesting and I wanted to share with you all. Here's a name that came up and has been coming up. And I said, you know what? I remember this name kept coming up last year. I distinctly remember this name kept coming up last year. And I was like, what's really going on here? Like, seriously, what's really going on? Can you all guess what that name is? I'm going to give you a minute to, to guess what the name is. The name is Troy Apke. So. Troy Apke's name is continuing to come up so far in the first three days of camp. Um, he's been noted with a few um, past breakups and just, again, noted for his speed and being highly engaged in practice. So I think it's fair for me to bring this up because last year we heard a lot about Troy Apke last training camp. Get into the season. It did not at all translate to the field. So yet again, we're hearing strong feedback and reports coming out of camp on Troy Apke. So this is very important to share. Is this a repeat? Is is Troy is, is Troy Apke? Will, will Troy Apke become someone who just practices really well? Because you know that happens. 
He could practice really well and be on point in practice. But in real life, on game day, on a Sunday or Monday night or Thursday night, just just doesn't work out. Just does not work out at all. So we shall see. Um, I see your question here, Jermaine. Is he for real? That's that's your question. I think that's everyone's question regarding Troy Apke. Again, we heard reports out of training camp last year, praises even regarding Troy Apke, and it did not translate into the season. So we'll, this is something to watch. I feel like this is something that should absolutely be paid attention to as we continue to move forward. I think it's an important point. And again, we're hearing it. So if we're hearing it, we're going to talk about it on this platform. So let's keep our eyes and ears open for more information and just seeing and, and, and waiting and seeing if this truly translates. So I need everybody to check in. Have you have you shared the show with your other Washington football team, fellow fans and family? Give me a like or love emoji so that I know you are absolutely paying attention and you're all in on these notes. Here's a note that I saw it was very interesting from the athletics, Rhiannon Walker. There's a couple of things that she shared that I thought was interesting. She mentioned Peyton Barber today. Um, and that he's lost weight and it shows and because he's his speed, he looks a lot faster and he's he's quickening up. And I was like, wow, OK, that's definitely a note we need to continue to mention, because, again, this is just day three. Today was the first day in pads of training camp. We know there's many more practices ahead of, of being in pads, but she absolutely mentioned Peyton Barber. So I thought that was interesting in the fact that he's a little more lean, a bit more cut up, and that has absolutely already seen and translated onto the field because he's visibly much faster. So I thought that that was absolutely a great point and some good information to be shared. Something else I thought was really key that Rhiannon Walker mentioned to keep a watch on. Benjamin St. Juice getting a lot of work on the outside, which means so far in camp, Kendall Fuller has been mostly in the slot. Okay, so Benjamin St. Juice getting a lot of work on the outside, seeing Kendall Fuller really translating and moving into the slot. I think that is something that we need to be paying attention to and we need to be watching. Let's see what goes. Again, just day three, first day in pads. We know that there's going to be competition all over the field in every single position. So that's something of note. Absolutely something of note. Now, in the not so great news, Today, wide receiver Cam Sims did, was injured. He went down with a leg injury. He was able to get up on his own power, and he was working a bit with trainers and everything, but it was said even after practice that he moved about pretty gingerly, um, you know, walking off the field and going into the locker room. Definitely want to keep the eyes and ears open on that. Um, I think his right knee was wrapped up. So we all know that Cam Sims is a fan favorite. We all know that Cam Sims is a player that we've seen just um, excel, right? He may get cut. He goes through uh, the waiver wire. He ends up on the practice squad and ends up finding himself on the active roster. And at critical key moments last year, he absolutely showed up for the team. He's absolutely one of the receivers that will be vying for a roster spot. So this is also something new, you know, developing that we'll see if this injury lingers, if he will be better, we shall see. Keep our eyes and ears open for that as well. Overall, if you haven't heard, today's practice actually was a little intense. They said that the tight ends, the offensive line, and that dangerous defensive line, it got heated. And Coach Rivera absolutely addressed this 
in his press conference. He said fighting is unacceptable. Anytime even Coach Rivera has to intervene, it got heated out there. Heated. Um, definitely noting, um, you know, Tamaric Hemingway and Chase Young, um, Sammy's Reyes getting amped up, frustration um, visibly shown out there, uh, Montez Sweat getting into it, just having his way completely with the offensive line, and the offense got a bit frustrated, and this was early on in practice where things got heated. So for some, it's like, okay, this gets this is where it gets exciting. Folks want to see that energy. Folks want to see that frustration and see what, you know, what's going on with folks. Hey, they want to see the energy. They want to see that you're really out there fighting for a roster spot. So look, Remains to be seen. Coach Rivera was not happy, though. Not happy at all. So more to come. But at least we know absolutely these players are locked all the way in, trying to bring their, their best and their energy to what's happening at all times. So more again, always, just day three. It's just day three. So many more days of practice to come. So much more to come. And before we sign off today, I do want to mention Brandon Sheriff's press conference this afternoon. So Brandon Sheriff said he has made it abundantly clear that he wants to be in Washington for the rest of his career, but he and the team, they just were not able to work out a long-term contract by the July 15th deadline. So I know that so many have thoughts about how much Brandon Sheriff should get paid, um, how much is too much, but he, he was vocal about it. Now, Let's be for real, right? Nobody is going to get on and say, I don't want to, you know, I, I don't want to play for the Washington football team. Of course, you're supposed to say that you want to you want to be there. But this is a message that Brandon Sheriff continues to share that he wants to be here for the rest of his career. I think that's important to note. What we need to figure out is at what cost? How much is too much to pay Brandon Sheriff? This is another topic that will continue to be a topic of conversation. We will continue to hear about it until a long-term deal is made. So y'all listen, today's update was kind of quick. This is overall What's going on? It's just day three, the first day in pads, so many more um, practices to go. And of course, if there's so many more practices to go, then that means there's so many more episodes to go. So you all make sure you share this show with, with your Washington football team, loving family and friends so that they can stay up to date on what's going on at training camp each day and the practices. We are going to be locked in and just noting every single thing that's going down. Okay? So guess what? There's a practice tomorrow. So we will absolutely be locked in again after practice, after the press conferences. We're going to absolutely be given the update. Okay? So you all have a great rest of your Friday, and I will see you all tomorrow.